Uh, hi, I'm Tom. They, them. Hi, Tom. Um, hi, Tom. <laughs> so Thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Do not touch me with that rag after it's touched these two other boys. <laughs> um, so I'm dating two people, um, not in like a cheating way. I'm, oh, okay. We're, we're in like a... Hey, hold on. We were pretty... Like, no, would it no, have, no, been, no, would no, it have no. been funnier, though, if we'd been like, oh, what? <laughs> no. Or no. it would have been funnier if two people in this audience had stood up and been like, what? <laughs> They were sitting Actually, with an I, NPC, oh, there's between, NPC them. between them. Okay, yeah, okay. No, uh, my girlfriend is here. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Um, so we're in like a polyamorous triad. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so. Drawing on our expertise. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, so. My, triad my sounds so much fucking cooler than couple, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the word for it. That's fucking dope. Yeah. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Um, so this is a healthy, happy relationship. I'm, I've been with my girlfriend for two years. Uh, she, I, and our boyfriend are going on two years as well. Okay. Um, my family's cool with me being gay and all that, but um, how do I explain to people that I am dating two people and it's not like cheating, and also how do I explain it's not a sex thing? Yeah. I imagine the same people... I imagine the same people who would ask you about that are the same people who would walk into a fucking mattress store and ask for fun for sex mattress. We need to start installing traps in the ground every 20 fucking feet. And anytime anybody says some bullshit... You're just like, hey, can you follow me over here for a second? If you're, if you're cool, you get an app on your phone and you press the button and one of the every 20-foot traps falls. And if you hear somebody say, say, which one's the sex mattress or for sex? <laughs> Bam! Shonk. Uh, and there's not spikes in the pit, but it's hard to get out. And eventually they'll learn. There's not spikes in the pit. It's just like everyone that they respect at the bottom going, what did you say? What got you here? Man, shit's bad I, right hey, now. Can I ask huh? you a question? Serious question? Yeah. When you, if you encounter a person that is like unfamiliar or like unexposed to people who are living a polyamorous lifestyle, do, are you the sort of person who like minds sort of taking the time to educate the people or are you like fucking over it? Um, I don't mind really. Like, um, I remember I started telling people when I was in like high school and honestly a lot of people there were just like, you're dating two people? That's sick. Um, <laughs> that's like the other response you don't want. <laughs> like, no, no, it's probably it's, better it's, than... It's actually flattering because like the idea that like their minds are blown to like, whoa, you, two of them? You can have two of them? That, I get the same thing when I tell people I just ordered two dinners at a restaurant. He always does. <laughs> Every day this tour. And by the way, it's not equating these No, it's not the same. Not equating, I just sorry. get the same response. <laughs> You got two? <laughs> I did. Except usually it's a lot more concern when they say it to me. You got two? You, you got two? Oh, no. What's the split? What, if you do not mind me m- m- my asking, what's the split like these days when you tell somebody, like, 50-50? Like, um, what? To, like, people who are like, oh, I get it. Well, I think it, it depends on who I'm talking to. Absolutely, sure, yes. Because when it's people my own age, a lot of the time they'll either get it or if they don't know, they'll just be like, oh, that's a thing. But compared to, like, if I started to tell my 50-year-old sure. uh, Republican Christian mother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Then it doesn't. It, then it Understand. Does. You, didn't, you didn't finish the sentence, but it doesn't go good, I bet. <laughs> but it, it's like, um, it, it really does depend on who I'm talking to. And so when I get the vibe from someone that, like, maybe they, their views don't match with mine, I'll try to avoid it. Well, I, I, I'll tell you the, it, go ahead. Ahead. kind of the same thing about the mattress question of like if wait. so. Okay, here's some other things Travis is going to compare your relationship. No, no, no. To. I, I, Two I, dinners. Tom Brady having sex with a mattress. No. <laughs> oh I yeah, mean, and I forgot to say my boyfriend is a body pillow. Oh good. Okay. okay, well, I mean specifically if someone makes like weird sex joke comments about mm-hmm. it. That the, the impetus is then not on you to make that okay. Yes, mm-hmm. that's that. So like, if somebody says something, I think you're in a position to go. What do you mean by that? They're putting you in a position where you have to explain yourself. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. Make <laughs> them explain themselves. I have a position um, you can put them in. What is? <laughs> I have a better position you can put them in. 
and it is 10 feet immediately below where they were just standing. <laughs> I'm just saying. It doesn't Trap have to doors. be in every city. We can get these in San Francisco, Houston. It the nice thing about a hyperloop. You would only have to establish a hundred trap doors across America, but no one knows where they are. Yes. yes. And then the threat is there. The threat is there. All right, Tom, you understand how deep, again, the, like, I don't, we, I've never had a challenge like this in my life, so we're kind of t- out of our lane right now. Mm-hmm. But I would say this. The fact that you are willing to take the time to explain your lifestyle, which is such a personal thing, is deeply unfair that you have to do that but super cool of you because what I would keep in mind when you're doing that is that you are making it literally 100% easier for the next person behind you and over and over and over again and it's a shame but I think it's so rad that you're doing it because you're making life better for everybody else so thank you from me a straight white dude that has to explain nothing other than his like t-shirt choices so but thank you Tom for, for your for your work should I just, like, if they ask if it's a sex thing, should I just be like, what is sex? Yes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yes, exactly. I think that's going to get us out of a lot of situations. A lot of jams. Yeah. Is, is, uh, an, Expl- explain to me what is a sex in, yeah. what is, in detail. <laughs> <laughs> I, birds, bees, what do those have to do? What they, are these two things having sex with each other? Take it How back to the beginning. What kind of horrible crossroads are we getting from birds and bees? <laughs> Why are the birds no and wonder the, bee- the bees are disappearing. They're getting I'm not crushed dating by the a bird or a bee. <laughs> Anyway, Tom, does that help? Did I switch those? I did, didn't I? Birds aren't disappearing. Bees are. But have we checked on birds? <laughs> Everybody, bird count. <laughs> Tom, does that help? Yes, it does. Thank okay, you. Okay, cool. Thank uh, you, imagine Tom. my surprise. <laughs> Thank you. 